Hello YouTube and welcome to another tutorial. So today we'll be talking about Recover. Recover is actually a program that allows you to recover or you store your deleted files. So are you ready? Let's get started. So first, in order to download your program, which is Recover, I'm going to open my browser and you just type Recover in the search box. Okay. So the first link you have is actually the link from which you can download Recover. So I click on download Recover. As you can see, there is a free version and also a professional version that is paid. So I download only the free version. So I click on the link. For example, this one. As you can see here, you can download the latest version, which is 4.22 megabytes. So you just click on the bottom here and the download is getting started. Okay, so once the program is finishing downloading, I will start it using the setup program. So as you can see here, I choose English as language for installing. So I click next. Then I leave the default uh, checkbox here. Okay. Uh, I don't want uh, CC Cleaner to be installed, so I check uh, no, thanks, I don't need next and the program is being installed okay so first let me show you something as you can see here I have a bunch of local hard drive and also I have an USB hard drive USB key. Actually, Recover allows me to recover or restore files from any of my local drive or my USB key. So as you can see, this USB key is empty. There is no file here. But using Recover, I can restore some files or the files that that being deleted from my USB key. I will show you how. So I will open Recover. Okay, so the first thing I get is a wizard. So I just click next. And here, it's asking me what sort of file are you trying to recover. So actually, I want to recover my Word documents. So if you know exactly the type of the file you want to recover, you choose it from here. Or if you want to recover all your file, you just leave the first options highlighted so me i want just my word document to be restored so i click on document then i hit next and now you specify in which location where the file actually as i told you my the file were in uh, my usb key so i choose specific location and i browse down to my uh, USB key which is called Aminos okay I hit it and add, click OK then I hit next now I can just hit start or if I want a deep scan I can check this box but me I will just click start in order to see the result okay as you can see now the program actually has giving me the list of the files that I have restored. So I have here the choice of the file to be restored. As you can see here, in the state, it's excellent. It means it can recover these files very easily. Okay, so if you want to recover a file, you just check it or right click on the file and 
choose the option recover highlighted or checked so me I want just to to restore the checked file so I will check it uh, just two for example this one and this one then I hit recover checked okay so now it offer me to select the location of recovery it's always good to restore in different hard drive or different location so I will just uh, recover this file to my desktop okay so I will choose my desktop for example as location okay desktop and I will hit ok and now the file have been recovered as you can see here the two file has been recovered another option if you want uh, to prevent others from recovering your files using the same software let's say that you give your USB key to someone and you are afraid if you use the same program to recover your files you just right click on those files and this time you choose secure override checked if you choose these options so the person will never recover your file so it's a very very important measure to take if you want to give your USB key to someone and you are afraid if he can restore some of your secret files or important files so you choose this option in order to prevent him from doing that so it's very easy program that you can use in order to recover or restore your deleted files I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing bye bye